Hi, everybody. It is Monday, at the start of a new week here, October 24th. Um, gonna, I'm painting a room in the house, so I'm as soon as I finish this, I'm heading off to go buy paint and, uh, and all the uh, necessary implements for, for doing it. I was cleaning the room out yesterday, and it's, it's long overdue for a freshening, so... I'm going to take advantage of uh, being here and uh, get some work done today. And I'll take a couple of days to do it because I'll probably have to do two coats. I'm going to give it time to rest between coats and all that good stuff. I mean, it works out good for me because I'm so ADHD kind of anal about things. I get real detail oriented, so um, I'm sure it'll be turn out fine. I, I enjoy doing this. Um, I was thinking about um, music for today, and I, I rediscovered um, an album that I did with Tom Jans. Now, I go back with Tom Jans to an, uh, an album that I talked about in a much earlier video, which was Tom Jans and Mimi Farina. And um, they were working as a duo, and Mimi was Joan Baez's sister. And... Um, it was on that project that I met Craig Durge for the first time and brought him into the James Taylor camp when Carol left and we needed a new keyboard player. And Craig took over and that was where the section formed and kind of the rest of our lives have been connected ever since then. But um, Tom also did work as a solo artist and he had a, a an interesting, slightly troubled life. But... Uh, I'm going to just read a little bio stuff here rather than, you know, saying, go look it up. I'll just give you a little information about Tom. Uh, it says, Tom Jan was born February 9th, 1948, was an American folk singer, songwriter, and guitarist from San Jose, California. He's best perhaps known for his song, Loving Arms, which was recorded initially by Chris Christopherson and Rita Coolidge, and I believe I worked on that one. Um, and later by artists including Dobie Gray, Elvis Presley, the Dixie Chicks, Natalie Cole, Olivia Newton-John, Petula Clark, John English, Livingston Taylor, Etta James, Millie Jackson, <coughs> Irma Thomas. I mean, it goes on and on. I mean, really, uh, that, that song had a great life. And says, uh, the son of a farmer, Tom Jans, was raised near San Jose, California. Jans' paternal grandmother had been involved in music playing in the Rocky Mountain Five jazz group. His influences ranged from Hank Williams to flamenco. His mother was from Spain to the Beatles. He studied English literature at, the, at USC Davis, uh, but rejected a graduate scholarship to Columbia University to seek a music career. Now, playing coffee houses in San Francisco, John, uh, Jans met Joan Baez, who introduced him to her sister Mimi Farina in 1970. Farina had achieved cult status as part of a duo with her late husband, Richard Farina. Farina had begun uh, writing uh, new songs and was looking for a partner to perform them. Jan seemed to be a similar collaborator, and the two formed a new duo. The duo played San Francisco Bay Area clubs and received notice for their performances at the Big Sur Folk Festival. The group then toured extensively as a supporting act for Cat Stevens and then James Taylor. I remember them being out with us, too. Uh, they received a recording contract from A&M Records, released the album Take Heart in 71. However, the album received little notice and the duo split up in 72. He, he, I mean, I'm going to get in. He moved to Nashville to pursue uh, work as a songwriter, uh, working for the publishing house Ir uh, Irving Elmo. Uh, his first hit as a writer was Loving Arms, initially recorded, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Jans, uh, he did a couple of other projects. Um, and finally, um, uh, it says when Columbia re uh, releases failed to find an audience, his career lost momentum. And although Jans continued to perform, he issued no recordings until 1982's Champion, a Don Grusin produced album that was released in Japan only. And that's the one I'm going to, uh, show you today. Uh, Jans suffered serious injuries, especially to his kidneys in a motorcycle accident in 1983, he died at the age of 36 of a suspected drug overdose in 1984. Uh, Metro Williams' brother, Paul, um, uh, sang Loving Arms at uh, Jans' funeral. Tom Waits dedicated a song to Jans, whom he and his wife had befriended, Whistle Down the Wind uh, for Tom Jans from Bone Machine. 
Waits said of the song, it was written about another friend, but it was the kind of song Tom, Tom Jans would have written. He was there in spirit. Um, but just all kinds of things about him. But he was a great guy. I was so shocked when I heard about his accident and his death. I mean, 36 is so young. But um, I really, really loved working with him. And uh, so I thought I would just play a couple of things. This one uh, is a song called um, Working Hot. And let me find credits for you on this one. This is myself uh, on bass, Carlos Vega on drums, Fred Tackett from Little Feet on guitar, Don Grusen on keyboards, and Lee Rittenauer on lead guitar. The background, background vocals on this are Richard Kerr, Kate Markowitz, and Jeffrey Osborne. So let me go back to that one. Here we are here. And this is working hot. Come on. up at sundown with a fevered mind I apologize to my body I've been unkind my body knows me and tells me a lot saying I'm another soul working hard sometimes I lose if I can't take the sound Of the big wheels on the interstate hitting the ground I check my mirror He changes lanes Hitting the road Heading for the city And then it starts to rain Don't kill you, but the second ain't funny, so I lie in bed, stare at the ceiling. Every night I get the same funny feeling. Oh, can I love or not? Can I love or not? I'm doing the best I can with what I got. I'm working hard. Down to the mall If I'm not feeling so good I can make a call But that's not living That's no life at all I'm just talking in the same sad circles Down at the mall There are still those Trying to be cool But my friend not the rule They lost so long ago yeah. But I got Cause the whole damn world Is working hard mm, My job's one kid And my life's two twenty The first one will kill you But the second ain't funny So I'm dying thing Stare at the ceiling Every night I get the same funny feeling Oh, can I love or not? Can I love or not? But babe, I'm doing the best I can with what I got I dropped one can and my life's two twenty First one will kill you but the second ain't funny So I
I used, uh, on this album, I played Frankenstein. That was my base of everything at that time, especially. Um, the album was produced by Don Grusin, who played with, uh, he and Rittenauer played together all the time. They had, they had their group together. And Toshi Endo was the executive producer on this. And there's a group of engineers who worked on this. Gary uh, Scardina, Al Schmidt, uh, Rick Ruggeri, Steve Williams did piano and string overdubs. And um, Don Murray uh, was the overdub engineer on this. And the uh, principal recording and mixing was at Music Grinder Studios with additional work at Sound Labs uh, Group 4 and the Yamaha Studios in Glendale. Um, that's that, but let me go on and play another. Hold on just a sec. Here's a song called when the rebel comes home, I want to double check here on any additional credits. On this one, uh, the arrangements by Don Grusin and Tom Jans on lead vocals, Don Grusin on keyboards, myself on bass, Carlos Vega again on drums, Fred Tackett, Lee Rittenauer on guitar, Steve Foreman on percussion, and uh, again, Jeffrey Osborne, Richard Kerr, and Kate Markowitz on background vocals. So here we go, When the Rebel Comes Home. And we did this in 1982 is when, when this was recorded. So here we go. <laughs> From the highway, they're out there fighting for you. Whether by God or by glory, he's been traveling through his tears. And he always feels the next step. We surely set him free. So be kind when he approaches. Cause that rebel could be me. Been dying, dying for so many years. He's been traveling in darkness, he's been traveling through his fears. And he left his go as a young one, left the young one in him behind. Now his reasons for leaving, I tell you, my friend, they're just a little hard. Tom. He was really great. One last uh, song for you here. This is called Southern Bell. Let me uh, get some credits, see what this one's got going on here. Um, 
the acoustic guitar on this is Fred Tackett and Tom Jans. Background vocals are the Crickets, Kate Markowitz, Morning Dove, the Ten Boys, Tom Jans, and Whippa Will. Um, me on bass, Carlos Vega on drums, Don Grusin on keyboard, Steve Foreman on percussion, and, and uh, Fred Tackett on slide guitar also. So here we go with Southern Bell. Southern sky, June will bring fireflies, rock and clay, and the daily rain, Spanish moss, and sugar cane. My mother still, she lives down there. Though gray has turned her auburn hair, I'm left so sad on a midnight train. But something tells me I'll be back again. Southern lady, they treat you right, they call you back. In the still of the night Memories Of a girl so sweet Such a good love From a southern belle Heartbreak. I mean, you think, you know, a guy like that dying at 36 years old, it's really, I mean, it, it's wonderful to have a legacy. And that's one of the beautiful things about music is uh, you might be gone, but your music can be here for years and years and years to come for people to enjoy. And I think that's, uh, it's a wonderful thing because uh, we just never know when we're going to be uh, checking out. And it's nice to I was I was going to do a T-shirt that that I was going to put on the site for sale, but I've never got around to it. Where I said, "Leave a mark, not a stain." <laughs> maybe maybe I'll get to it yet. I don't know. But I, I, to me, it's 
kind of words to live by. So I'm going to go buy some paint and some crap. I've got brushes and rollers and all that stuff, but there's some, I need some drop cloths and stuff. So I'm going to get to work here. I'm going to make it a productive day, and I still haven't been playing. This hand is still sore, but tonight I am just going to start dedicating a couple hours a night to practicing and getting my chops back up because I've got to do it. we got to get ready to uh, start gigging with the band, and... Uh, I want to be up to speed with that. So, um, wish everybody a wonderful day. I'll be back tomorrow. I had originally a different idea for today. I'll probably do it tomorrow. Uh, but I came back uh, across Tom, and I thought I'd pay a little tribute to him. And uh, really liked him. So, take good care. Have a good one. And I will see you all tomorrow. And also, just send out some birthday wishes to Gabriella Swallow. Gabby is the cellist who... Um, place when we were working with Judith. She was part of the uh, the string section that toured with us, and she's a fabulous, fabulous musician who's in Barcelona right now um, with Hiromi. She's playing with Hiromi, the great, great jazz pianist. Um, so I'm really, we just, I just, uh, we just FaceTimed, and so give a little shout. Also, m my site's been hacked. If you see anything from what it's Telegram or whatever the hell it is, um, anything that's, you know that talks about you know giveaways and all this, it's all bullshit. It, it don't don't hold. On, I'm gonna mute this. Get that. See if I can find it in here. Hold on. Come on. If it says, text me on Telegram and with my name and congratulation, you won my prize, hit me up. Do not touch this. I've been trying to get this stuff. It showed up. It's on like every every post on, on my site. Um, the fact that there's people in this world who have nothing better to do than to screw with people that are doing something positive really just makes me crazy. Um, but it's it's on almost every um, response in the chat window. And uh, it goes back then. It starts kind of infiltrating previous ones. It was gone for a moment, and it's back. Ignore it, please. I don't know what would happen if you try to get into that. But I don't want to see anybody have any problems uh, with this. And uh, there are some serious, serious losers in this world that somehow they validate their own wasted life by just screwing with other people's lives rather than doing something good in this world. So just be wary. That's all I'm saying is just be wary of it because it's, uh, it's pathetic. So other than that, Mrs. Lincoln, how was that play? Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.